Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use TubeBuddy to run my YouTube channels. This is not gonna be a completely comprehensive guide since I'm not gonna show you guys everything TubeBuddy can do. Rather, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I use it within my own business and how it's helped me generate YouTube channels that have made millions of dollars of profit. So I'm here in my YouTube channel right now and I'm gonna show you guys sort of what I do and you know how I use TubeBuddy. So the most common way that I use TubeBuddy is by going to the content tab. And then here, once you install the plugin, you're gonna see this bulk and miscellaneous tools thing right here so you can click on that and from here on there's gonna be a bunch of different things that you can do right so the first thing that I do a lot with TubeBuddy is I use the find and replace text tool this saves me so much time you guys it's literally saved me hours and hours of time because with how many videos I have in my channel I think which is over 200 as of right now there's lots of times where I need to do a bulk edit to my description Right, so for example, let's say that I have an affiliate link and that link changes, then well, I can use the find and replace text tool to literally find all of that previous text and automatically change it to the new link. So let me show you guys sort of how this works. So I'll click find and replace text and you guys come here to action and look at the drop down menu. You guys can see you can use this to you know find text in your videos without really doing anything. It's just gonna tell you where that text is. You can find and replace text which is what I do a lot. You guys can use insert after text. So let me show you guys. I'll click on that. You'll find text and then for the append text, you're gonna add what you want after that text. You can also insert before text. You guys can remove or delete text if you want in bulk. You can add text to the end of your description in bulk. You can insert text at the beginning of the description or you can replace the entire description, right? So a bunch of different ways you guys can use this tool. Most common for me in my business, in my YouTube channels, is I'll use this. So let's say I have an affiliate link and I'm just gonna paste one right here. This is gonna be a link and let's say I want to change this because I've created a shortened URL and I wanna replace that text. Basically what I'm gonna do is like I did already, I'll copy that link right here. And then after that, I'm gonna come here to replace text and I'm gonna uh, type in or copy and paste exactly what I want it to turn into. So I'm gonna do that. So in this case, what it's going to do is it's going to comb through all of my videos, all of the descriptions. It's going to look for this and it's gonna replace that with this, right? So you guys can choose options, aka if you want it to be case sensitive, I suggest not turning that on. And then you can also include partial word matches. You guys can search in titles or descriptions or both. And yeah, this sort of gives you a before and after example of what it's going to look like. So after I do that, I'm going to click continue. It's gonna ask if I want to search a full list of my videos, if I want to load only the recent 50 or X videos. You guys can choose a specific list. You guys can choose all the videos within one of your playlists, or you can search a list of videos that match whatever search phrase below. So I always pretty much use the uh, this one I want to search my full list of videos I'll click continue now it's going to sort through okay so I have 345 videos and it's going to find all of the videos that have this so you guys can see all these videos have that link in the description so basically keep scrolling down you can see there's a lot of this link basically what I'm gonna to want to do is if I want to change it for all of them I'll click select all good so we've selected a hundred fifty different videos after that I'll click continue I'll click yes do it and then I'll click start. It's automatically going to find and replace all of that text. So that's the first way that I use TubeBuddy. It has saved me so much time, you guys. So this feature is available in the paid plans. It's not available in the free plan. So if you do wanna do that, uh, I do suggest upgrading. Another way that I use TubeBuddy is on the actual website itself. So if I come to my TubeBuddy dashboard, you guys can see I have the legend license, which is the most expensive one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I use A-B tests. I do have a specific specific video that shows you guys in depth how to do an A-B test. But just for this video, it's gonna be a little bit more broad. And I'll just say that A-B tests are super, super important. If you have a YouTube channel with a lot of variables like different thumbnails or title ideas and stuff like that, it makes a lot of sense for you to always constantly be testing out different things. So you can see a bunch of these videos I have right now are in certain stages of A-B testing. Mostly the title is what I switch around to see what works better. So if I click on this, you guys can see that this A-B test 
is currently in progress. I started this a couple weeks ago. It'll show me these cycles completed. Basically what it does is it's going to test one title on one certain day. The next day it's going to test a different title and it's going to keep switching off, right? So each day it's going to record the click-through rate, impressions, the clicks, all that stuff. So you can see that right now they are 90.03% sure that the original is going to be better than the variation. So likely this is going to be the one that uh, ends up being chosen. But yeah, it gives you all this information, different click-through rates, impressions to clicks, watch time per impression, daily clicks, as well as daily impressions. We can also see total views, average view duration, all this stuff. And yeah, it's really interesting to see. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to run this test until there is statistical significance. And after that, it's going to automatically choose the winning title. So yeah, like I said earlier, I have a bunch going on. Some of them are complete and some of them are still in progress. But basically what I do is I'll come here to create a B test. It's going to allow me to select which video I want to run on. So let's say I want to do it on this one, okay? So I'll select this one. It's going to ask me what type of A-B test I want to run. So you can do a thumbnail test or a metadata test, which is basically like title, uh, description, tag, stuff like that. Just to make it easier, I'm gonna select metadata test. You know, click that. I can have it run for a set number of days and it's just going to pick the winning one or I can just run until it's statistically significant, which is what I actually recommend. So I'll click on select and I'll click continue. Now it's gonna allow me to upload a test thumbnail if I want. For now I'm just gonna click continue since I don't have one. I can change the tags if I want. It's going to suggest new tag ideas. I'll just click continue. And here's what I'm gonna change for this one. Let's say I want to ask or change it to asking Tesla owners what they do, you know, like for work, right? Something like that. So Something that seems pretty simple and not that big of a difference, but it's gonna actually have pretty drastic results on the click-through rate. So after that, I'm gonna click continue. It's going to show me the original description as well as the test description, and then I'll click start test right there. Another way that I use TubeBuddy is I'll actually go into the details of, let's say this video. I'll scroll down here, and here, this is really interesting, right? So these tags that you put, TubeBuddy is automatically going to you know, see if your video ranks for any of these search terms. So basically it's saying, if you search up top credit score hacks on YouTube, this is going to be the first video that pops up. On the other hand, if you search up credit score hacks, this is going to be the 12th video that shows up. So obviously the higher the better, so one is the best, but this just gives you an idea of how your video is doing in terms of search performance. Another thing I really like about TubeBuddy is that it recommends tags. So I can actually come down here, I can select a new tags that it recommends based on all the data, right? So if I want to include this one, I can click the plus whatever. I can also go to the tools by clicking on this button right here. There's so many things you guys can do that I'm not going to be talking about in this video. For example, you can apply templates to cards to make that a lot faster. You guys can have an end screen template that makes it also a lot faster to do that. It can give you recommended tags. You can do your A-B test from here. You can actually schedule videos to be published. Another cool tool that they have is you can actually make thumbnails using TubeBuddy. Another way I like to use TubeBuddy is looking at the channel analytics. So this is actually free. It comes with the free plan of TubeBuddy and it allows you to compare your channel with another channel. So right now I'm logging to my main channel and I am on the channel page for StartupWise, uh, which is what this video is hosted on. So it's gonna show you the total lifetime views, last 30 day views, as well as videos. And you can see the blue is going to be me on my main channel and the red is going to be me on my startup wise channel so you guys can see of course my main channel is getting a lot more views and easily compare like that you guys can also go to subscribers for the last 30 days you guys can see this channel is getting a lot more subscribers gained than this channel and yeah it just allows you to sort of uh, compare your performance with another of your channels or with a competitor's channels. It also shows you the channel keywords as well as the channel ID. So yeah, that's basically how I use TubeBuddy for my business. You guys can see that the main tools I use are the find and replace text tool as well as the AB testing tool. Even though those two tools are a small portion of what TubeBuddy can do for your channel, I think that even if you just use those two tools, it's completely worth it. And just know that TubeBuddy has a ton of other things and features uh, that can help you guys grow your channel. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more videos just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials to help you build your business. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.